All right, grasshoppers. Uh, it is uh, bring down the thunder Thursday here. We just got back from the gym. It is 7:02 a.m. All right, so we're gonna uh, today. We've already made up for breakfast. I know it's a little odd sometimes, but I, the, the chickpea pasta we love so much. We got leftover chickpea pasta with the peppers, onions, uh, tomatoes, spinach. In it. So that's gonna be our breakfast. We're gonna heat that up. But while we're doing that, and while we're excuse me, when uh, uh, we are, uh, what am I saying? So we're, I'm excited, all right? So far we got the beet juice, ginger juiced, uh, cucumber juiced, all flowing through the veins. We've had our amino energy with extra citrulline in it. So the blood flow is pumping, all right? So we're gonna heat up our uh, chickpea pasta mix that we've got in there. But in the meantime, we're gonna make up our uh, banana protein muffins, okay? So obviously we have bananas in there. We have our uh, chickpeas that are going in there. We have eggs. Uh, we have our, we're gonna go with almond milk today uh, And we got quinoa flakes we're gonna put in there as well uh, So it's a full day. We get at seven o'clock. We've already got up. We made the bed perfect We've gone for our march. We have juiced The proper juicing uh, gone to the gym now It's time to cook and then we got to go down to uh, Madison Square Garden today for a full day of events down there too. hanging out with uh, the one and only Ron Greshner all day too. That's gonna be a real thrill All right, so um, so we're gonna peel our bananas now I don't know how you feel about it, but I like to let my bananas get a little, uh, little bit of brown. People, I think it gets a little sweeter that way. I mean, you don't want them to be all rotten and everything like that. But all right, so bananas are going into our mixer. And remember, we do, we do like we're a little rough in the kitchen, right? So it isn't all. We don't measure everything. It isn't all perfect. We cook with the heart. We cook with the heart. Um, so I talk a lot. Uh, to people about some of the people that have been in my life that made a big difference. So when I talk about cooking from the heart, Herb Brooks was a guy that made a big, big difference in my life. And I think most people know who Herb is. Coached the 1980 uh, Olympic hockey team, beat the Russians in Lake Placid, the famous thing. And he had a saying, he has many sayings, uh, but the one thing he said all the time was, passes come from the heart. So I talked a lot about this, but when, when he was talking about it, I, he was talking about a few things that I didn't realize at the time. But as I've gotten older, I think I realized more what he was trying to say. Obviously, he was talking about physically, when you're passing the puck to somebody, put your heart into it. But he also meant that about life, about everything in the game, but also about life. If you're gonna do something, go all out, put your heart into it. Don't do it halfway. So like I, I've learned, if, I'm gonna be out of the camera here for a little bit while I go to the garbage, but I've learned, um, I've learned that everything I do, I go, so when I cook stuff now, it's a mission. Like I, I want it to be great. Like I, I change things around in recipes. I always try to get better. Um, you know, I'm cooking for the, for me to get healthy. I'm cooking for people that I love. You know, and they come over. You know, they're healthy. Like you know, somebody. You know, I have to be aware. Of sometimes people actually. I, I'm going to go away from the almond milk today. That makes me think too. Uh, my son um, uh, is allergic to almonds, so we, we go with peanut butter instead of almond milk. So. All right, so we're gonna bash up the potatoes here in our mixer. Uh, growing up on a farm too, you notice everything is unplugged. When you're using something, you unplug it. Or when you're not using it, you unplug it, so you plug it back in. So that was the, my father did that in the farm. And I think, I think it was more like a safety thing. You know, he's a firefighter too, so he, it was a safety thing in case the worst thing happened. So, um, all right, it's going in. Mash up potatoes, 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 it's bananas. All right, I'm going to put that mash number right back. I'm getting the, what am I getting here? I'm getting my applesauce, my protein powder mix, and my quinoa flakes right here. All right. Turn that off. Bananas are all mashed up now. Hold on, I gotta get the rest of my protein mix. So just so everybody's aware, this is what we use for our, um, our mix. This is a, a protein pancake mix, and they got all kinds of great recipes. Kodiak mix that, and you go to the website, they got great recipes that you can use this uh, stuff for other than just make pancakes. But pancakes are fantastic. Oh, let me throw that box away for this. We get consolidate space. Consolidate. All right. 
We got our little honey here. This is what I mean. We cook, we cook with the heart. We don't measure it, especially when it comes to honey. So the recipe initially for this called uh, for sugar. Um, try to stay away. I mean, this honey still got sugar in it, but I just, uh, I believe that honey is better for the sugar. So if you can replace um, the sugar with honey, I try to do that. Plus, it's this cute little bear. I mean, it just, it's cute. There's just no other way of looking at it. Um, and again, this is called for, uh, the recipe called for regular milk. So I just replaced it with, with, um, with applesauce. And I, I don't know if it's, there's some rationale to it or whatever, or if that's the proper thing to do, but it seems to make sense for me. So that's what we do, that's what we do in the True Bit Life kitchen. All right, so we don't put things back in the kitchen halfway. If you don't put this back in halfway, you've already taken it out, it's all messed up. You take those three out that you're not using, throw that in the garbage. And now, there. all right. So we got our honey in there. Applesauce, organic applesauce, unsweetened, au naturel. Because that's what we do, we're au naturel. Au natural, Jesus. All right. Give you these little suckers of applesauce. Clean as we cook. That's what we do. So the honey's gone in, the bananas, the applesauce. We're coming back with two eggs. That's right, the big eggs. That's right, big, big, big. How many eggs is there? 24 eggs. All right. Two eggs going in. And the egg goes all the way in there. Nice. And we said clean as we cook. Don't leave that in the sink. Take it out of there. All right. Now, I'm not, you're not gonna like this necessarily. I'm not a big hand washer growing up on the farm. But again, when you're cooking for other people, I think you gotta be aware. Obviously we were dealing with the coronavirus too, so um, try to be aware of what we're doing and how we're affecting other people. Things go away. The almond milk away again. We decided not to go with almond milk away. The applesauce today. We're cooking. They sound a little bit corny here, but we're cooking with love, baby. Love. Think of everybody else that you're cooking for, right? So, uh, the recipe calls for three cups of this uh, protein pancake mix. Uh, but I do. What do we do? A quart is it? The third, yeah, third, or third. Or cup. So I do a third of a cup of chia seeds and a third of a cup of quinoa flakes. So obviously then we use you know, two, two and a third cups of the protein pancake mix. Pretty good math there by Tom. Um, so just, uh, I think it's healthier to add those chia seeds in there, the fiber and the quinoa, the same thing with the fiber, and low fat. All right. Got a third of a cup of chia seeds. Again, you know, I, I say I don't measure everything, but I want to have a pretty good idea what I put in. Part of it is just, you know, the consistency of the pancake. Here's the pancake. What? Of the, uh... oh, and here's another thing, too, while we're cooking. We got it inside. We got our little pans out. So we got our little donut pans, right? These are for baking donuts. So the question is then, if it's a donut and a muffin, do you call it a monut or a duffin? It's you know, one of those things that, I mean, it's, you know, it's one of those dilemmas. Like, we may never find the right answer for that, but uh, you know, let's, we'll put it out there and get everybody's opinion. Maybe we'll do like some kind of a poll or something like that, figure out, you know, like this politician who polls, like, you know, Hillary Clinton, Hillary Clinton's gonna win the election. Oh, she didn't win. I don't know what that was, wrong. Yeah poll didn't work out too well. But we'll do a poll on what we call these. Duffins or monuts. we we'll do an official poll. We'll get like, who does all the polls? we we'll get somebody to poll that. So we put in 
one cup of that so far. Now we're gonna come back with our second cup. That's our third cup. We gotta be careful because that's we don't need that much. That's, so we need two and a third cups. That's right. Oh, oh. All right. You adapt. You're not gonna be perfect, so you adapt. We don't want to waste any, so if you do spill, you just lock her in here. All right, so two and a third cups of, of protein pancake. So again, it calls for three cups of this, we have, but we added a third of a cup of chia seeds and a third of a cup of our quinoa flakes. So we adjust. We do two and a third cups. I'm not going to sucker. Oh, okay. Just a little bit of salt, okay? Just a tiny bit of salt. So we don't measure, but... You don't want to go too much, but just we want to have a little salt in there for flavor. I'm not a big guy, I'm not against salt so much. I mean, I think if you're working out all the time, sweating and everything like that, I think you can have some salt, but I mean, you don't go crazy with it either. I do see the benefits of trying to stay away from salt. Okay, clean it as we cook. It almost like you hate to put the bear away. So cute, right? Yep, you know, like you hate to put them away, but you got it because you can clean as you cook. Here, there it goes over there. When we at Costco, we have multiple little bears because they come, you know, I think it's three. So you get three little bears. So it's, a little, it's like a little family over there in the pantry. Little honey bears. Honey bear. Let me put this away. What the heck? All right. That's the way. Lean in as we cook. Okay, how's this sucker look? Great consistency, beat it up a little bit. See, I don't know if this is accurate, or not, but I like to like, get a little bit, like fluff, air it up a little bit so that my, my duffins or my monuts are not all uh, like hard, like thick and everything, you know? So that's my theory. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but it doesn't matter because it's my kitchen. It's a true good life kitchen. That's where we're going to do it. So we, um, again, from Kirkland, we use canola oil. Spray. I think healthier for you. So, we want those duffins to just bounce right out of that tray. All right. Right aside here. All right, what we got? We got ourselves a nice big spoon. Big spoon. Big boy spoon. We take this off. Always try to not waste Get as much as you can. You made it, you might as well eat it. Cleaned it there. All right, get all out of the sides. Now, we like to go all out. So when we fill up these little trays, we fill it right up. I'm going to show you the results, obviously, when we get done. Because again, we got it. Like it looks like a muffin on top, and then it looks like a donut on the bottom because of these trays. You know, maybe, like, is this something like I invented? Like nobody in the world has ever thought of this before? Like a, a donut muffin? Probably nobody ever thought of it. It's just mine. Wow. It's incredible. Earth shattering news. So again, just to talk about what we've had so far in the body today, we've juiced up our ginger, meat, and cucumber mix that was before the mix of the gym. We also had our amino energy. It's got the amino acids in it and caffeine. And then we put a little extra citrulline in there. Citrulline, I believe, is excellent for, for your blood flow. Uh, instead of going with some artificial products, you know, artificial stuff that's put in your body for pre-workout, I just think the combination of all that stuff that I had before I work out just, for me, is just, woo. Let's get going. All right, so, filled up our trays. 
right to the top, like you do everything, you, you go all out. Those go in the oven, they're gonna go in for uh, 20 minutes we go over here. We're gonna, we're gonna, you know what, I think going 18, because I'm not quite sure sometimes, like if it, oh, I wanna overcook them, and you can always come back and do more. Okay, so we don't always do our muffins uh, early in the morning like this. We usually come in and eat right away. Uh, but I wanted to get those cooked. We got a busy day today going down to Madison Square Garden, working uh, some fun stuff down there. Uh, so again, we've made our homemade protein banana muffins. We've obviously got bananas in there, honey, two eggs, chia seed, quinoa flakes, protein pancake mix, a little bit of, of salt for flavor. Uh, and it, you know what, if you don't want the salt in there, you don't have to have it at all. Or if you want a little bit more, you can do that. Um, but the key was, what was the key? We cleaned as we cooked, so we're done. There's a little bit of cleanup here in the sink, so it's not a big deal. So the, to me, our health is really important to you. It's a healthy lifestyle. It's not just working out. It's not just what you eat. It's not the amount of sleep you get. All that stuff goes together. So yes, it's a little bit extra time to make your own muffins. You know what's going in. There's no preservatives, all that kind of stuff. You, it's your stuff, and I think it's worth it. Like you, part of it is that you have gotta put the time in for yourself, so that you can be better, so that you can be healthier, and. And like I said, I don't ever want to say to myself, okay, I want to be the best I can be. I want to get better every day. So I feel like my diet's getting better every day. I learned more. I didn't know about the benefits of juicing before, about beets and ginger and all that kind of stuff. Turmeric, I uh, put a lot of things. So I, I, sometimes I didn't do it today, but I put turmeric in my, in my muffins too. So it is worth it. You're worth it. Um, and I think you'll find the more disciplined you are with your diet and all parts of your life so that you can be a better person, it just continues to flow. You'll just you'll be a better, you'll be healthier, you'll be a better partner for the people you love, you'll be a better parent, teacher, whatever it is that you do, student, uh, but so it's all part of it. So, all right guys, uh, I'll show you the finished product. Once we're done here, we're gonna heat up our chickpea pasta mix uh, that we made the other day. That's gonna be our breakfast. A little bit of an odd breakfast, but it gets everything in there that we need, so. All right, have a great day.